Hey everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and this is your Matter Hackers Minute. Emily Rule is a grad student at the University of Delaware, pursuing her master's degree in marine biosciences. She's researching how 3D printing can help reverse the effects of global warming on coral reefs. So here's the issue. Global warming and other environmental factors are degrading coral reefs around the world, leaving reef organisms without homes. While research has been done to see if rebuilding the reefs results in organisms return, it has only been done with live reefs, which can give off chemical cues from algae and other living organisms that can influence a fish's behavior. Stay with me. I promise you this is fascinating. They couldn't really tell if fish actually preferred habitats with more or less coral, or if it was these outside factors that was keeping them away. So Emily introduced 3D printed coral into the environments to test the theory. The lemon damselfish, which was Emily's study subject, not only used the 3D printed coral habitats as much as they used the live corals, but they demonstrated a strong dislike of low complexity corals, which don't really offer enough protection against predators. So they liked the ones with the more branches and more cover better. To create the 3D printed corals, Emily started with real coral skeletons that she had in her lab and used Autodesk NetFab to model them. She was then able to manipulate their complexities using Cubify Sculpt to add and remove branches and make spaces in between bigger or smaller. Her 3D printers of choice include a Lulzbot TAS6, a TAS5, and a MakerBot Replicator 2. She experimented with all sorts of filament, including nylon, ColorFab NGen and XT, MatterHackers PLA, and Protopasta Stainless Steel PLA. But it's understandable that she defaulted mostly to PLA, given that it's relatively friendly to the environment. To test if live coral and other important reef-building invertebrates would be able to colonize 3D printed materials, Emily also modeled and 3D printed settlement tiles with textured surfaces. This has been shown to increase settlement rates of live corals who love to hide in the little nooks and crannies. These tiles were placed on the same reef in Fiji for six months. Emily is analyzing the data as we speak, but she did report that lots of the tiles had corals settled on them. The long-term goal of these 3D printed habitats is not to replace live corals completely, but to act as a temporary home for reef fish during times of degradation. If these 3D printed corals can support live growth, then over time they should gradually mold into the reef and become part of the foundation while providing beneficial structure and hiding spots in the interim. Emily's work has the potential to change the world, and as Hacker of the Month, she gets some free spools of Matter Hackers PLA for her efforts. Think you've got what it takes? Leave me a comment below about your world-changing 3D printing project, and you just might be featured on my next Matter Hackers Minute. Go be awesome. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.